So I took a completely new store from $0 to $10,000 a day drop shipping in only seven days. So I'm going to show you why I found the product, why I built the store, why I found the supplier, why I made the ads, and why I scaled the Facebook ads to make sure it was profitable literally everything so you have no excuse anymore that drop shipping isn't working for you but first let's go to the proof so we can see for example our story here this is the 25th of may with a 10.4k euros which is even like approximately like 11k dollars we can see here in the 17th we had nothing on the 18th we had our first couple of sales and you can see then a week later we did 40k in total revenue in a week and you can see on the 25th we did 10.4k euros and even on the 26th we did 14k euros 14k euros in a single day which is approximately 16 to 70k dollars and let me refresh again so you will completely believe me yes of course ecom legend is super legit oh what a surprise and i totally understand why a lot of people right now are failing with drop shipping because they're just focusing on making a one product store they're focusing only on the big five while there's so many untapped markets out there which you can utilize on and you don't even know it and i'm here to show you the eu arbitrage because what most people are doing is they find the product somewhere with a spy tool and they test it they try some new creatives and they're still failing maybe they do one to two k a day but that is still not some money that will totally change your life but you want to make this life-changing money right and this untapped method is something that can completely change your life if you genuinely put in the work and so in the way we do a drop shipping is we take winning products from the us and we take them to eu markets with native stores and in specifically we're selling fashion all of the revenue we did there in seven days was 95 percent fashion and the reason why fashion Fashion works so amazing is because it's evergreen everybody always needs fashion let's keep it real if you're gonna look at the Forbes list who's the richest guy in the world right now it's Bernard Arnold and what is he the owner of one of the biggest fashion stores in the world Louis Vuitton whatever all these big fashion brands and everybody always needs new clothes and that is why fashion is always going to be around and especially as well in EU markets to be honest even there could make money at this point with this business model and so we are focused on the untapped countries the revenue we did on the store was all in the german market because we have lower cpms lower cpcs more clicks it's kind of blue ocean compared to the u.s market people think you can't scale there well if i can't scale there then how did i even do like over 18 million in euros in the last five years of revenue only in eu markets because the biggest issue is just getting profitable the scaling and that kind of stuff it will all come later focus first on getting profitable and i'm going to show you exactly in this video how we do it so at first i want to talk about product research so we are using this amazing tool named winning hunter and you can just check this in the link as well in the description and we are using the spy tool named winning hunter why is it so amazing because you can just very simply click on different countries and find amazing winning products from the big five so let's click on here for example on us uk ireland canada new zealand australia right and for website we will click on shopify because i only want to find shopify stores language and english and right now for example it is the 9th of june so i want to take the last seven or eight days and i'm going to click on apply right so in here you will see a bunch of products oh here we go we already have a nice fashion store in here so this person for example is running this product in seven different countries with 32 running ads and it's a summer dress summer dresses by the way for this summer they will go very hard and if you click on shop now you will see the store very simple black nice looks branded this is also very very similar to how we do it probably even this is ai but what i'm more interesting is is looking at the facebook ads library because here is the place where we can find all the creatives so we can check them change them a bit and use them to sell in eu markets so let's look at the creative no way and i just got this dress i will be in this dress until further i don't want to watch too much guys hold on so here's another creative oh guys i don't want to look real there's probably a winner but i don't want to look around haram man <laughs> So they start running on the 9th of June. Now I want to see as well if they start running as well earlier so we can. Because what I typically like to look at is those products. They have been running for three to five days, even a week. That is like makes it more clear. So I haven't seen that. They only start like testing this product only since today. So I won't take the product and I won't sell it. So what you want to find guys is products actually that have been seen in the last seven days. June 9th, June 9th, not interesting. Now look at this one. June 9th, learn more, view details, page ad library. 
No, I'm interested in this. So you will see a bunch of products, but obviously we want to focus mainly on fashion, right? Let's go to the page at library in here as well with this particular product. And you got to understand that with drop shipping and the way we do it, you got to be very focused. Product research is by far something that has the lowest input and the highest output. Focus a lot on product research. So 8th of June, still too very early. All right, we can see, for example, this person is selling this product since the 6th of June and they're going to collection pages. And this is also a very different particular niche. Just drop shipping. Even the gothic works. Look, this is interesting. This is actually as well the type of we will sell. They have been running it since the 6th of June. The lender goes to a collection page. Amazing. This is a type of fashion we also run and uh, what's also very interesting which you can do guys because with this app in winning altar you have the tool named magic ai so what this essentially does it looks for all the competitors and all the people who are also running the same product same creative in other particular markets so you can see boom look how many people are all selling this product probably maybe even some the same but there must be a lot of people like copy pasting even each other you can also make money as well on this and uh, what i like as well is operators as well they have as well sales tracker which is absolutely amazing guys remember those sales trackers you can see all the revenue in the stores check it out guys and this is the way that we also find winning products for this store so and obviously guys i'm not going to show the store i don't even see the point of showing the store or showing the products because i literally show you the stuff that how we do it because i prefer to teach you how to fish than give you the fish right this is very important and by the way if you want to see another case study of mine on how we did 55k a day in revenue in only one day check out this video here crazy what i'm going to do as well to make everything more clear for you guys is show you some competitors in the eu markets so let's for example go to germany right apply let's change this language here to german and we're already seeing here a bunch of results a lot of brands basic shopify stores here this is a very simple as well general store somebody selling lots of fashion quite clean store to be honest you know i can even translate for you guys here in english just talking about the guarantees the price here is like a red this the prices here in gray they have the kaching bundles app i don't really recommend this to be honest because every time we did this our aov would get higher but the conversion rate it will drop so much and we were still profitable obviously but we were just less profitable and we look at the volume and the profit margin always some urgency you can also do this i'm not a big fan of having these kind of urgencies a nice add to cart button in green so it doesn't matter if it's black green red it all works even like the amazon like yellow orange one pay methods are right amazing sticky add to cart this is a typical good fashion store and what we could do is go to details and see how this person has been performing and we could already see in here that this person right has like 101 ads and he's running in two countries in austria and germany and those are both german-speaking countries so if you go here 46 results sarande.de running says the 12th of may all of these products to be honest i won't really go for these because they have been running for more than three or four weeks it sounds really worth it to also run this to be honest if it was like newer three four five six maybe a week i would give it a try but what you could do guys what works really amazing is take those winners from germany and sell them either in stores in native stores in denmark or sweden netherlands belgium works amazing and this is literally the way we do it and i told you even like a could do this brand what the f and I know already the next question that you're gonna have is like, hey, father, you're selling fashion, returns, refunds, I should you name it. Listen, returns is not the same as refunds. It's something different. Refunds, it like it goes from your revenue. Returns you're gonna have at every single store. And typically in fashion, it's between 5 to 7%. If you really up can go even higher than 10 percent obviously but that is why you need a proper supplier who knows how to handle size in eu markets who can as well handle big volume who has a fast processing time it's not only about the deliveries it's also about like when the customer places an order until the moment it gets sent out to the customer how long does it take processing time so important and this is what we always make sure that's running smoothly so in terms of supplier what i recommend you is astro ship you can check in the link below you can enter the discord open a ticket and the supplier they will reach out to you and help you out i also use astro ship it's amazing and for the people who are like hey i'm gonna talk with a supplier i'm gonna negotiate in this kind of no you can negotiate if you don't have leverage first start making some orders and by the way with astro ship you can even start from zero orders a day right first start getting some orders 10 20 50 100 a day and then start like going into negotiations where you can like put your prices of your products even lower and scale the competitor out even higher because that's also one of the things that we always do you know and for those also who ask why did you sell in german market look for us what we're seeing is that germany and sweden are the two best countries to sell in eu market but obviously in terms of paper processing it can be hard because you have klarna 
Solana and PayPal, you need to figure out the backend. You need to make sure that you can respond on the disputes all the time on the right moment. This can be an issue. This is why for most beginners, I recommend other countries. For example, Denmark, Netherlands, Belgium, Ideal and Bank Contact and Klarna you can use there. For example, Australia or New Zealand. So it's not only always about EU markets. So EU markets, yes, are very nice. But if you take this approach to as well Australia or a New Zealand, for example, it can also work like amazing. Anyway, let's say hypothetically, you choose the market, you found your products, you made the store and you name it. Now you got to deal with the advertising, right? So when you think about the advertising, right, you need to make creatives, you need to make the ads. Oh, so hard. They got to be creative, marketing genius. Well, you want to see the ads that are actually running up high numbers with and we're making like six figures a month with. Now here it is. Two creatives, okay, that we make. This, I think this is even one from AliExpress, right? This is the first one that we're actually selling right now. And the second one is also this one. And we're printing with this. Let's be honest. It's absolutely insane. So if anybody is going to ask me in here, Farouk, how do you go about the creatives? Well, in all honesty, we look at the competitors. Yeah, we test what they have in EU markets. We change it a bit. We use some AI tools like Flare.ai, Adobe Premiere, or you name it. Or Canva, which is totally free. And we change the background a bit. That's pretty much it. You might think I'm going to come up with some genius strategy with or like a VSL or you name it. No, we just literally have very simple image ads. This works. And the nice thing about this creative aspect as well, in which we run our ads, is that you can kind of automate the process. You can find people from Philippines, India, Pakistan, literally tell them what kind of creatives to make. And this is so simple that even like could do this. This is what I'm saying. Like, I'm not even a smart person out there. Anyway, so now we're going to go into ads, all right? So definitely, as you guys know, we're doing Facebook ads, and I'm going to go here to the ads manager. On the first day, we spent 138 euros, and we got back 229 euros. But you can see, we tested several campaigns. One, two, three, four, five, five campaigns. Now, if we talk about the testing as game strategy, the way that we test on Facebook is as follows. We have a CBO with four ad sets, just like any other video that I explained, we still do the same. No interest targeting AK Broad, online shopping, engaged shoppers, and stack of six, seven best interests related to the product. And we have two creatives. And the two creatives, I literally just showed as well how we make our creatives. 99% of the times, we just go for image ads. Because it's simple, even a could do it you can automate the process very easily which you want to do you don't want to be involved too much in the business you want to outsource a lot of stuff in the business at some point that's what we're doing so that's what we literally have yeah you can see that we killed the first three campaigns here after uh, 18 17 or 50 euros in spent yeah very high ctr very cool and nice but we had less clicks than we had in money that we spent which is a very bad metric usually right cpcs are high cpms are crazy 40 50 you know but we killed those products in those days but the other two we kept them running you know you can see at some point we were spending like 1800 euros this was later obviously you will see as well why so you can see we kept on running the two campaigns here above because they were profitable we now go to the second day that we had on 19 and i like to just literally show everything you know so let's go to 19 of may and you can say here we've been testing some new more products which is absolutely crazy is that we went from like 200 euros right on the first day to the second day we went to 3 4k euros <laughs> it's crazy right and the row was around three look we spent 1.3k and we had a revenue of 3.4k and you can already see how it went we just bumped up one of the budgets on one of the campaigns because we saw that the day before we saw like a very interesting ROAS, three ROAS on this and the break even ROAS on this product i believe was around like 1.2 and my brother he sold this product before so he was like oh i can probably just scale it and look we just have the balls to put a higher budget and he put 1.1 I don't know, maybe even higher a budget. He put it in that particular day. He just surf scaled it. At 9 a.m. when he started, he saw before 9 a.m. the ROAS was like 5 or 6 and the budget was like 4 or 500. And then at 5 p.m. He, he put the budget on like 15 or 1600. And then you, you end up spending like close to 1200 euros. And that's what happens. 2.5 ROAS, right? You had these campaigns running okay and these were sh obviously we killed them. You can see it again, right? Same philosophy. We killed them. You see, 6% CTR. Your favorite guru will be very happy. We don't give a about CTR. We don't give a about CBC. We don't give a about CPM. The only 
we look at is the amount spent, we look at the clicks and the ROAS. All the other shit are very mundane to us. This is how we do drop shipping. If you do another way that works for you, I'm very happy for you, dude. But this is the way we do it and it makes us money. We jumped at the third day to 5k a day, all right? So what did we do here differently? So here again, 3.5 ROAS, 1.7k spent, 5.5. Bro, same, same face. You see, exactly the same. We killed all of them. This one we kept on pushing through, you know? And the highest one we just kept on scaling here on this campaign. We were spending 2k. And by the way, this LCB was 2k on a 2.19 row S. But if we're going to look on the end, right? Because this day it was like a Tuesday, right? So we spent 2.3k and we got like 5k. Obviously, we don't hit the best row S's all the time. You know, we're also testing a lot. We upped the budget very high at this point, and the row S it did. Because if you look at the day before, the row S was 3.5 and we spent 1.5k so we were like oh you know what let's get a liar boom you know raw stank we're not like gods or prophets or anything like we also make like mistakes we also have like faders you can all see in here most people in life when they would experience this kind of way they would think like oh sh the campaign is sh i should like totally skip it you know but that's not how we do it because we try to find the sweet spot in the campaigns all the time and we saw the spent on 2k was just not worth it you know so you can see that for example for the next day we started spending less again we went to 1.5k with the, with the winning product look and the row has got better again so this also shows in real time that you can't scale every single product it is basically impossible there's always a limit to it for some products it is 50 for some products it is 100 for some products it's like 2 or 3k some even 10k you need to find a sweet spot with CBOs, you know, and it's not like talking with shit out of my neck, you know, that's how you say it like in Netherlands <laughs> in the Dutch quote, but you did just see the way we do it, bro. If you're also gonna look now, you know what, let's look at the day we hit like our first 10k day. We can see what ROAS we did, we spent 3.8k, we had 10k revenue, and then yeah, obviously we start scaling here higher because it was the weekend. And you guys can see as well, weekends we always scale higher. There's more audience pull on Facebook, you can just scale higher, obviously, you know, so 2.8, 2.9 ROAS, this was our biggest winner, all the other products were just more, you know, you know not any crazy winners you can see every day we're testing three to five new products you know sunday was crazy by the way you can see we had like 14 kills sunday 4.7 percent conversion rate which is absolutely crazy and a row has overall like three 2.8 2.6 it shows here i think it's a little bit higher to be honest still very good to be honest but so that's what we did pretty much and something that i forgot to say as well in this whole video is that in terms of how we have our shops we keep everything as clean and lean as possible it even looks branded right so we don't have unnecessary countdown timers like unnecessary urgencies or you name it we keep it very clean and lean and that's how when people come to our shop you know they're like they can just buy as quick as possible we don't have any upsells we only have straight upsell after the sale which is the post purchase upsell app but that's it nothing more nothing less and yeah this is literally how we go about it so that is exactly why i took the store from zero to 10k dollars a day in only seven days and this is the same blueprint i've been using for the past two or three years and it is the same blueprint that i give to to all of my students that I met you right now to reach at least 5k to 15k profit a month through EU dropshipping, selling a bunch of fashion products. You could even look at one of these videos here. You can, for example, see Hide Song. You went from zero to 8k a day in his first few weeks in our mentorship. You can look at yours about making a video. You can see up here, he did like, while I interviewed him, he did like 170k in a month. And the month after we shoot the interview, he did 180k in a month. And as well, for example, screenshot here from Camel. And for example, screenshot here from Sean and Sean was struggling like for weeks and weeks maybe even like one or two months on a program he just couldn't figure it out then he had a call with one of our coaches and now he's doing 1k a day even those small wins they make me so happy and this is why I can like, even sleep better at night and I made this video so you can use everything that I've given you in this video to go ahead and start drop shipping by yourself but there's of course a tons of nuances and specifics that will only apply to you and your own situation but which I obviously I can't cover here and if you're being honest if you're not already at five to ten thousand dollars profit a month with dropship then you definitely need some help and that is exactly why i want you to click on the first link here in the description to join my mentorship you will be having me and my team hold your hand step by step making sure that you can join the other successful students who have scaled to ten thousand dollars in dropship in half of the time that would have taken it if they did it themselves so click the link in the description book a call and i will see you inside oh and by the way like and subscribe so youtube will send you out my videos as i upload them anyway i'll see you inside my program